مرحبا 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 هلا انت جاهز يا صديقي جاهز مرحبا يا ميباري مرحبا 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 I'm Barbara. I'm from Italy. I'm Gabi from Germany. And I'm Siggy from Germany. I'm wonderful. Uh, my name is Jazz. Uh, I'm from America. It's me, Daniel. And I'm group in New York. I'm Kathy from Michigan in the United States, where we have a big, wonderful Arabic population. It's me, Saya. I'm from Holland. <laughs> my name is Suleiman. Let's hear the talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sulaiman. I currently live in the United States of America, but I am from Nigeria. I'm Enrico. I'm from Italy. My name is Anna. I'm from Russia. I am Albert Hartold from the Netherlands. Anna is me, Max. Uh, and I'm in Baritania. I'm Silvia. In Arabic, it's me, Silvia. I'm from Italy. It's me, Milena. I'm from Eritrea. 55 years old and I'm graceful, uh, grateful that there is no age limit in the course. I'm uh, 26. And I'm uh, uh, Sita Wa Ishroon Sana. I'm 64 years old. I'm 28 years old. And I'm 38. I'm 23 years old. Anna Wa Hedwa Ishroon Sana. I am 24. I like it very much. Maha is a very kind uh, teacher, she is very enthusiastic and, uh, da, and we made also some excursions to, uh, to Jerusalem, the Dead Sea, Haifa, Lake of Galilea and uh, for, for me was the, the top was uh, the, the visit to Hebron. I came here because I was doing well with tourists um, Arabic, I could order falafel very fluently, but then I was just stuck in tourist, and I would try to read words, and I would get stuck because it was like the same word is 700 different ways, and Maha helped break out the puzzle, so now I know what the word is, and this is for him, or this is from him, or this is to here, and she took a lot of the mystery out of it, so now I, can, I think I can even use my dictionary finally to find the words, and I can understand it, and I am not stuck anymore and I can keep moving forward. Well, it was really an amazing experience, not just because of the Arabic language, but because of the experience itself. Really enjoyed the stay with uh, all my classmates and of course with Maha. I learned um, a lot of Arabic and uh, Maha is an, a wonderful teacher. Uh, there was a lot of theory involved, but we also had the opportunity to apply that knowledge elsewhere, which I feel is really important. So there was a huge balance between theory and application and that combined made yeah, yeah. all the experience all the more worthwhile. Oh, yeah. Plus we got to explore and see a lot of the Holy Land as well. I came to Akko to learn Arabic. I started as a complete beginner. I had no knowledge of the alphabet. I had no knowledge of the vocabulary or the grammar. Um, so I was a, a complete beginner. Um, after two weeks of uh, intensive Arabic lessons, I'm able to read and write in Arabic fluently. I'm able to um, hold basic conversations in Arabic. I've met numerous people in Akko with whom I can uh, communicate. Um, it has been a great starting point to my journey of learning Arabic. I really enjoyed the course here. We are staying in a beautiful, beautiful uh, city, Akka. Um, I recommend everyone to come here if you want to learn Arabic. It's only two weeks, but it's uh, quite intensive. You learn a lot. Uh, do your homework, then you learn even more. And um, yeah, you make great friends. It's not only about Arabic, but um, it's a, an amazing experience. There are lots of memories, a confluence of memories. But best of all, the fact that I, you know, had an opportunity to meet people from various parts of the world. It more or less impact uh, and reinforces the fact that globalization is a reality, and we need to live in a global community. Uh, it's well, very wonderful to be here in Akko, in this wonderful city, and just to uh, discover each and every day all the part that it belongs to history of uh, this place, and also, of course, the, uh, the cuisine of Akko. This is like a vacation where you learn something. Um, 
and or a class where you have a vacation. So if you're like, I don't know if I should take Arabic or go on vacation, come here and do both at the same time. That's perfect. We are married. Uh, we decided to do it. Both. Do you re <laughs> ideas, <laughs> Do you regret <laughs> taking the course no, together? Not at all. Not, not at all. Not one second. <laughs> I've met people from a lot of countries, um, different age groups, um, I've made great friends. The morning we'd usually spend learning Arabic, whereas the afternoon we have it free. We would do activities like jet skiing, hiking, um, just exploring Akko, the city and all the towns who are surrounded by Akko in the afternoon. It, it was not only a break, not, not only a, a trip where I learned Arabic, but it was also a holiday where I discovered the Holy Land um, completely. It, I thought I, I uh, would learn less. <laughs> I learned more than I thought. <laughs> for me, it's uh, to get the, the basic for Arabic, Arabic language. I hadn't before any knowledge of Arabic, and so it was uh, of course, it was exciting to be in a group where there are different uh, abilities together and Maha managed it in an excellent way so that everyone can uh, get his uh, advantage out of the course. We're happy to be here. This is a beautiful experience to uh, match both learning and vacation. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot that you can experience here. Akka is beautiful. Well, I want to um, help people, specifically uh, uh, refugees, and I hate not being able to help people because of language barriers. So um, I want to learn Arabic, um, Italian, Chinese, like every language there is. But So I'm starting with Arabic, though. I think that Maha's course is very wonderful because we learned a lot of new stuff and grammar, huge number of words <laughs> and vocabulary. And uh, I really recommend to everybody to join this course of Maha because she's so positive and very optimistic in learning language. It's really supportive and it's, uh, it's, I think that it's something that, that we all need uh, when we start such uh, hard and tough uh, language as Arab language. I didn't expect to learn a lot of things in Arabic in only two weeks. I recommend uh, to you to participate at this course because it was uh, fantastic. Um, I love seeing the coexistence that occurs here, you know, Jews, Christians and Muslims and the city in and of itself is beautiful geographically. We have the beach, we have great views and it was a great combination of, you know, tourism of the Holy Land together with my desire to increase my Arabic knowledge. I definitely learned uh, more than I expected. Um, a little tip, do not get distracted by all the, the beautiful scenery and the beaches here. And uh, <laughs> Stay on track and you will definitely learn even more. Uh, Ma has a wonderful teacher and uh, we learned a lot. My favorite Arabic word is Yalla, let's go! <laughs> After class! Anjala! <laughs> Habib! Why? Because it's love. I really like saying Yalla Emshi for people. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because it's quite uh, it's direct and it gets things done. Shukran, Kathiran. My favorite Arabic word is Sabr. It means patience. Because, you know, because one, uh, it's really a lot of patience to master uh, Arabic language. <laughs> I would like to, to have it. Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> oh, my, my favorite Arabic word is actually a phrase, more or less like a poem. I mean, chance permits, I will sing the poem. Al ilmu awaluhu, murun madha kotuhu, lakinna akhirahu ahla min al asali. It says that knowledge in the beginning can be very hard, but in the end, it is sweeter than honey. Woohoo! <laughs> My favorite Arabic word is salam, because I'm all about peace, you know, it's one of the reasons I came here, and you know, that's what I'm about. <laughs> Mumtaz. Okay. <laughs> Just when people say it, they are always in a good mood, so that's a great word. My favorite Arabic word is Habibi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
because it's not only about your loved one, but also super friendly word. Everyone says it for each other. My favorite, uh, I, I have it not yet. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe shukran, that was the first word I learned and I, we were in Morocco and then I, I said uh, shukran to the, to the waiter and he, he called me uh, Mr. Shukran. <laughs> it was the only word I knew. Ah. Can, I, can I give you a couple? Okay. Um, Halas. <laughs> Halas is definitely definitely uh, one of my favorites. Um, Yalla uh, is two, and I know this isn't really a word, but the tamabuta. Tamabuta. Yalla, come here. Masalama. Okay. Shukran masalama. Shukran maha. Shukran maha. Shukran maha. Thank you, maha. Shukran maha. Shukran ma salam. Shukran ma salama. Shukran ma salama. Shukran ma salama. Ma salama. Ma salama. Ma salama. Ma salama. Ma salama. Ma is a great teacher. The place is fantastic. So come. Yalla.